looking at you guys trying weird beers. Okay, I'm Ed. This is my son Zach. We're together, you guys trying weird beers. And today I wrestle an alligator. What? Did you? What? When? What? For the video. You're wrestling an alligator. Yeah. Am I not? No. Do you know how much they cost? Oh, okay. Never mind, I guess. <laughs> I mean, alligator rentals are through the roof. I'm just telling you. Paper towels and alligators. Those are two things that, that the pandemic really shot up in stocks. Yep. Yep. Two of the hardest things to get. Alligators and paper towels. And the damn toilet paper, eh? Oh, right, toilet paper. That's what I meant to say. Mm. Well, no, I don't. I mean, we're in the midst of another, another, yet another lockdown. But people didn't lose their minds as much this time, I don't think, as they did the last time. Nah, they're still trying. I mean, to find people them. were people were doing runs on toilet paper. It's like, how much sitting are you planning on doing? Well, I mean, you say yourself, they were doing runs on toilet paper. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I see what you did there. Thank you. Oh, that was also disgusting. <laughs> it was very gross. <laughs> Speaking of gross, what have we got today? Ooh, well, we got something from Le Grimoire. Oh, dear God in heaven. Oh, no. Now, the Grim Le Grimoire, they've made beers that we've liked, but I don't know about this. This is a milkshake pina colada IPA brewed with fruity tea. Oh, God in heaven. This is... I don't think this is going to bring the boys to the yard. I don't think, think this is going to bring anybody to the yard. But I could be mistaken. Oh, well, if yeah. you're going to drink this, make sure to drink it in a condo. <laughs> oh, it says explosion of NNS, which is pineapple, strawberries, nuts, and co oh, coconut. Oh, my God. I hate fucking coconut. Also, if, uh, if you're uh, feeling an explosion of nuts, go to a doctor. A what? Well, you said the, it says an explosion of nuts. Yeah, if your nuts explode, man, that's a bad sign. Yeah. Definitely see a doctor. It's uh, the it's what? Uh, uh, pink, purple, then... No, pink, blue, purple, right? For... What, the health of your nuts? Well, no, uh, that's just blue, blue, blue. Uh, <laughs> no, but... no, if my nuts are blue, I've got concerns. How did we get on this topic? I don't know. But... <laughs> I blame you. Yeah, that's that's probably fair. Anyway, so we've got this horrible pina colada milkshake beer. I can't even believe that this is a beer. What kind of twisted mind comes up with this kind of Franken beer? The good folks at Grimoire. Well, yeah. No, you guys. And the other one, ooh, ch ch, -ch cherry bomb. Courtesy of the Runaways. Uh, it's a milkshake, another milkshake beer. Milkshake brewed with cherry tea. Now, these are both got IBU uh, ratings of 20. So, well, because they're IPAs, so they're, there's going to be a certain amount of bitterness. The SRM, we, we determined what that was last week, right? The color? Yeah, uh, it's uh, storing rotund mudkips. <laughs> <laughs> or silly radical mutants. You choose. No, I think it has to do with the, uh, the, the density, color density of the beer. And this one has got a SRM uh, rating of 05, and the horror that contains coconut has an SRM rating of 05 as well. So they're both the same in terms of color density and bitterness. If you want to learn on what the SRM uh, SRM is, make sure to watch our last video and then come back to this one. Yeah, where we didn't explain it at all, but I did look it up. I think we did. No, we didn't know what the hell it was. I had to look it up and I put it in in post. Oh, then just go watch our last video because it's fun. Yeah, well, yeah, you do that. Man. Thank God. Oh, sorry, Zach. What? Contains lactose. Guess who's pooping tonight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, they both contain lactose. I apologize in advance. This guy. <laughs> I don't know. This is like the horror show of beers. This, like Grimoire, this is pretty fucking grim. This is like the trifecta of things that are not okay for me. Well, there you go. Coconut, IPA, and, and lactose. That's really frightening. 
But you know, we're brave. And we're going to soldier ahead for you. Yep. We're going to drink this so you don't have to. That's right. And uh, to make us properly brave. Palate cleanser. Uh, we've gone back to... Okay, I said we're going to go back to the rock gut. It's not rock gut. 1800, 1800 Reposado is a good tequila. It's just not as good as the Herodura that we had last week. I'm still going to miss it. As you would miss... What, a TV show that's been canceled? The only TV show that I miss that was canceled uh, was Firefly. No, you've missed more than that. There have been so many good TV shows that were canceled that... Yeah, but that was that was, that was was canceled prematurely because of the suits. Ooh. Yeah. Makes me flare my nostrils. This man has never forgiven Fox. No. Bastards. But... Here we go. In for a penny, in for uh, a polygon. There you go. Hey, that's not too bad. <laughs> Maybe I, I spoke too soon. Oh, okay. That just hit me. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Do you miss the Herodur yet? Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. That's got some personality. May I choose to what we start with? By all means. Let's get this fucking nightmare over with. The one with the coconut? Okay. Because I really expect this to be so awful. I hope I'm wrong, of course. And of course, we're we're really not singing the praises of, of this already, but as we always say, try for yourself. Oh, uh, you know, it's got a, it's got a golden amber, well, not amber, but it's... It looks like, like a beer that was, like, soaked in, or, uh, that had, like, oranges soaking in it. Because it's got, like, it's, it's got the beer color, but not quite. So you figure it's got more of a citrus color, a citrus quality? Yeah, it looks like, uh, well, actually, it, it looks like pineapple juice. Oh well, that makes sense since it's oh, 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 oh. this one. Does this one have les ananas, as they say in La Belle Province de Quebec? That's a ananas is like French for pineapple. For those of you who are not from where we are, okay. And there's your education for the day. Yep, because we're like bling, eh? Like we're stupid in two languages. You're really selling this high, aren't you? Yep. Marketing 101. Okay, I can smell it from here, but let's bring it close to my nose. Ooh. It smells like Play-Doh. Oh. Like, all the smells of, of the bad stuff all mold together to just make Play-Doh. No, if Play-Doh was a fruit from the depths of hell, yeah, that's what it smells like. I think that, that actually is a flavor of Play-Doh. What, fruit from the depths of hell? Yeah. Although, uh... It, Man, it, imagine how many kids would eat that? It, it, it's kind of long-winded, so, so, they just, so they just wrote fruit. Oh. <laughs> but you know, Play-Doh is very salty, so I don't know what happens when you mix fruit with that. I'm sorry? Don't ask me how I know. I think we've covered this before. But Play-Doh is salty. I think when it dries out. Again, don't ask me how I know. Okay, let's just drink beer. What kind of wine would you recommend Play-Doh with? With Play-Doh. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, Play-Doh, he's... Uh, what is he, from ancient Greece? What kind of wine would you recommend? Am I confusing two things? I'm confusing philosophers with clay. Who does that? This guy. Okay, let's try this beer. It's been a while since I've had a pina colada, so I don't know if it's like an accurate taste, but... Can I get caught in the rain and fucking drown? 
I was never a fan of pina coladas, and this hasn't changed my mind. This is fucking horrible. It's like a penis colada. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a bridge too far. <laughs> well, perhaps for some of our viewers with delicate sensibilities, it is. Fine, it's a wee wee colada. <laughs> is that better for your sensibilities? I feel better. Oh, God, why are we still drinking it? <sighs> it's not immediately horrible, but then the flavors kind of come to the surface. Yeah, like, like when it first hits you, it's actually super refreshing. Uh, like, and then you taste it. Yeah. Like, I, I was sitting there, and, and as it was entering me, I was like, I could, I could be okay with this. As it was and entering you? Don't think too hard about it. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like a pina colada colostomy. <laughs> oh. Okay, no, I don't. Nobody should ever request one of those. No. You know what's weird about this is some of these... Excuse me while I burp for Satan. Blah. Some of these weird, fruity, crazy flavored beers... They lose the they, they they lose their beer essence like they don't taste like beers anymore. This tastes like a beer, but it tastes like a beer like like a beer with a pina colada milkshake, and that's it's just wrong. I actually I, like I actually really want to like it because so do I because it it starts off quite nice and then and then you taste everything and it's like who the fuck came up with this idea? I don't taste a lot of the fruits. It's really just. I like, taste the I, don't know. I taste the pineapple. Yeah, taste pineapple. Taste I a taste a goddamn coconut. coconut. And the the milky kind of whatever the. Tell you what though, whatever that is, it doesn't smell or taste like an IPA. That is weird. Well, it's only got an ibu. I like calling it ibu instead of ibu. An ibu of twenty. Yeah. So that's not at the high. That's not at the high end of scale. But still, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, yeah. It, it, yeah, it doesn't have the, 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 the usual IPA bitterness. Yeah, so what you're saying is that isn't a, a IBU of 20 does not make you an IPA. <sighs> yeah. It's not, no, the, IB, the IBU of 20 is not a determining factor. I cannot believe you drank all that. Uh, you know, I had to do it for, for, for the folks at home. What a trooper. Well, I had to, I had to make sure that I wasn't overreacting because I was already going in. With a colored, with a skewed uh, view of this beer because it contained a lot of stuff that I hate. And guess what? Uh, my fears were founded. Yep. It's not. I don't. Uh, I don't like it. It's not. Not a beer I would go back to. Yeah, not for me. It's definitely a beer for people that don't like beer. Yes, you're absolutely right. If you're not a big fan of beer, this might be for you. Yeah. So, if that's the case, the people at Grimoire are geniuses. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd rather have wine. Uh, I'd rather have a polo mallet to the temple. A what? Polo mallet, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what polo is? A sport oh, that... polo. Polo, what did you think I said? I don't know. Like a... Like a... Like a pole mallet or something. You know, there's an episode of um, The Honeymooners with Jackie Gleason. Mm -hmm. and it's an old sitcom, like really old kids, you know. You look it up. Where um, there was something about polo ponies. And uh, what's his name? Norton kept on uh, kept on pronouncing it as Palopenes. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny, I have to admit. I mean, I don't know if, if anyone does that still, but I'm going to now. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Okay. I guess, uh, you know, now I'm, I'm actually looking forward to the palate cleanser this time because it's going to get the taste of this fucking pina colada milkshake crap out of my, out of my mouth. Let's get some anejo into our gullet. <laughs> yeah, it makes you want to shake your sillies out I agree with that. Wiggle your waggles away. What the hell is that from? Uh, well, hopefully it's from in front of a urinal. 
<laughs> to shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggle away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the instruction upon the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It, if if I ever opened up a bar, that would absolutely be on top of every urinal. That's it. Or urinal, as they say in, uh, in, in the UK. Urinal? Yeah. Isn't that next to Saturn or Jupiter? <laughs> a little bit of cosmology for you folks. Okay. Yep. <laughs> we're we're big in the makeup. Yep. Ballot cleanser. <sighs> oh. Okay. Okay, we survived that. We survived this. Now Ch -ch -ch cherry bomb. Dun, 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 you know what? I've never heard of cherry tea. I mean, what the hell was this? This was something else tea, right? Uh, that was just fruity teas. Well, yeah, what the hell is a fruity tea? Come on, man. You know, tea is something else altogether, I think. If you want to know my professional opinion, as somebody who doesn't drink tea, well, yeah, cherry tea? If you talk to somebody from across the pond, like a... Like in England or uh, Ireland or Scotland, and you, you said, oh, I'm going to make you some cherry tea. They'd punch you. I'm pretty sure they would punch you. Don't know for sure. I'm going to put a call out to uh, anybody from England or Ireland or Scotland. If somebody were to offer you a cherry tea, how would you react? Would you punch them? Let would us know in the comments. Them? What? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know. And if you would take a cherry tea... Make sure to hit the like button. Yes, and subscribe. And tell your friends. Yeah. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, not that we're needy or anything like that, but, yeah, we're needy. Uh, real quick, uh, I just want to come back to the beer, because look at that foam color. It's, like, pinkish. It's, like, properly cherry pinkish. Oh. That's, like, the foam of a rabid dog. This is going to look like wine. Oh, 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 I don't like the looks of this. It looks like Prosecco. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Oh, oh, no, man. Oh, this is, has me flashing back. To what? <sighs> They're changing colostomy bags. That's fucking horrible. <laughs> this is not the color that I want from a beer. Or from, from any beverage that I'm going to drink, to be honest. Wow. But, like I say, I'm, you know, I'm a little biased. Like, I haven't seen amber beers get this light. Well, this is not amber. I don't know what the fuck this is. It's like cherry. This is like, you know, this is like sick infected bladder color. What is going on with the grimoire? <laughs> I'm sure they'll be happy to tell you. <laughs> I apologize, Le Grimoire. But this is not an appetizing color. Well, like I said, I'm biased. Like I've got a I've got a mental block in regards to this kind of color, this kind of hue. Got bubbles though. Oh, jeez Louise. It smells like cherry. It smells like cherry flavored stuff. Yeah, but there's something else. There's something else to it. Does it smell like cherry and colostomy? That's it! <laughs> Got it no. in one! <laughs> no, it doesn't smell like that, to be fair. I want to be fair. But it's got a weird under... Uh, a weird under smell. Play-Doh? Could be. It does smell like cherry Play-Doh. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. sure smells like red Play-Doh. Yeah. Uh, you know, Play-Doh, Greek philosophy's <laughs> favorite clay boy. <laughs> I've made that joke before, but... You know, it's worth repeating. Hey, if, if a joke is funny, tell it twice, right? Yeah, tell it three times and you're out! Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, what, well, uh, I blame the, the pina colada stuff. Oh, that just, yeah, that sent me over the edge. That was like going over, like, this pina colada stuff was like going over Niagara Falls in a, in a, in a wooden barrel. Not the safe kind of barrels with the padding inside. You know uh, what kind of padding is my favorite? What? Tun bear. Tun bear padding? What? Try it again. Tun bear padding? <laughs> I don't 
don't get it. Am I missing something? Am I being... Flip it. Paddington Bear? Paddington Bear? <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Fucking Christ, are you serious? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever started! <laughs> okay, that was ridiculous. Next week we talk about Updog. Okay, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you wanted me to say. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> I could have died happy. I could go. I could have gone over Niagara Falls completely. <laughs> with a and smi- the barrel smash. You would have had a smile. <laughs> a smile on my face. <laughs> All right. I think we put it off long enough. Yep. Okay. Let's try this stuff. <sighs> Ew. Oh. Okay, this has got the bitterness of an IPA. It tastes like a candle. A Roman candle? One that's up my butt. You got a candle up your butt? Have you ever seen people shoot shoot Roman candles at, like out of their butt? Out or into? Out. Like they What they what? they put it in their bums yeah. and then they shoot it? Yeah. To what end? No, from the end. Oh <laughs> To what purpose? Is there is there some thrill to it? Aside from a scorched scrotum? Yeah. I, I mean, sure, you know, your your gooch smells like charcoal for, you know, <laughs> for the rest of your life, but... That's not a hobby that I want to sign up for. You know, there's a class at the Y. No, thank you. <laughs> The next time we get a, a flyer from the YMCA, can we check to make sure that there's not like like, like Roman candle ass shooting courses? <laughs> Introduction to Roman candle ass shooting. I don't want to participate. I just want to watch. <laughs> That's really... okay. The second, the second, the second uh, sip was not as bad, but it's no beer should be based on a fucking milkshake. That should be a universal axiom. It should be a universal truth. I should only be able to get drunk or shit myself. I can't do both. Okay, I can, but oh, yeah. I, I don't want to do both. <laughs> yeah, because that's a lot of work. You know what? I can't wholeheartedly endorse it. But yeah. it's... But it's it, I don't think it's as bad as the pina colada. No, it's not. I'm definitely a no for this one. Yeah. Ah, really? The last couple of the swigs weren't. You're gonna do me dirty like that at the last <laughs> second? Look, I'm not uh, like I don't think I'd ever have it again. But it's not as offensive I mean, because when you do a comparison side by side, this is like Godzilla, you know, pretty much stomping through Tokyo. And this is that's uh, King Kong pulling Bay Ray's clothes off. They're still big giant monsters and they're threatening, but one's pervy and one's just destructive. I don't know what I'm saying. We should probably wrap it up. <laughs> if you say yeah. <laughs> definitely no. Oh, definitely no. And he's he's fine with it. I know. I'm. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah no. But but by a thin edge. Yeah. By a thin edge. But definitely try them yourself because. Yeah. They're, they're definitely interesting flavors. Like the flavors are for people who don't like regular beer, that's for sure. Yeah. So if you're... In the, particularly the pina colada. I think the pina colada would find... Uh, would find a lot of fans of people who don't normally drink beer. So there you go. Yep, hey. That's two more. Yeah, milkshake uh, IPAs and... Uh, nope, no boys in the yard. No girls in the yard. Okay, so... We told you about these beers, so I guess that's it. That's it. I'm Ed. This is my son, Zach, and we're just two Canadian guys trying weird beers. <laughs>